So if you're going to throw out historical sourcing on the basis of an appeal to deity, guess what? Now we don't know anything about the ancient Near East. Congratulations. What about God in your story? Oh, here we go. Throwing religion into it, throwing God into, the, into this. What if you credit causation, either directly or providentially, of events to God? Well, that can't be history. We can't count that as history because God's reality cannot be known objectively i.e. put under a microscope and proven with the tools of science, okay? So God's reality cannot be known objectively, therefore neither can his activity. So, bye God, bye. What about God, divine activity? Here's where we get to the Ramses issue. What did you notice when you read the account of Ramses at the Battle of Kadesh? What does Ramses do more than once in his recounting of the battle? Or his scribe, you know, either way. What does he do? He does. He's got an ego. Who does he credit success to? The comment was Ramses attributes, you know, victory to himself, you know, in all, in all the elements of the battle. Who does Ramses credit with the victory other than himself? His God. Several times, he's point blank. You know, Ra did this and that and the other thing and it all turned out right, you know. Deity, 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 you know, just, you know, pick the deity and, and, and there we go. Well, why is it that ancient historians say that the Battle of Kadesh Stella is legitimate historiographical data? We can't accept that because it has God in it or the gods. How can it be a reliable source? Here's the better question. If it's okay for the Battle of Kadesh Stella, why is it not okay for the Hebrew Bible? Why? By what standard? Now this book here in the front, History and the Gods, this is a very small book by Bertel Albrechtson. An essay on the idea of historical events as divine manifestations in the ancient Near East and in Israel. You know what the book's about? The book's about the fact that basically all the historical stuff in ancient Mesopotamia and Israel has God or the gods as part of the equation. So if you're going to throw out historical sourcing on the basis of an appeal to deity, guess what? Now we don't know anything about the ancient Near East. Congratulations. You know what, I'll accept that if you publicly repent and recant from accepting these sources for centuries in the first place, then I'm good with you. But that ain't gonna happen. You know, Albrechtson is not an evangelical, okay? He's got no ax to grind in this. He's an, he was an Assyriologist. It's just, you can't read anything in this material without bumping into a deity. That's just the way it is. So again, if it's good for the goose, why is it not good for the gander? It's completely inconsistent.